Hi everyone, welcome to Gold Fries, and this is the Fractal Design Ion 660p 660 watt 80 plus platinum power supply. My voice is back, but not that clear. Hope you guys don't mind. The review must go on. So the beauty of this power supply is that it's small, it's silent, it's high efficient, it has high efficiency, and is fully modular and of course it comes with a new set of cables so let's start um, with the design itself horizontal grill with 140 mm fan that has a zero rpm mode which i quite wonder whether is there a need for the zero rpm mode because it's so silent so as i was testing it it doesn't even load up when i saw the 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 power draw running at 250 watts at over 300 watts then it starts to spin and it's not loud at all. Now my load test is very simple. I don't do not have a Sun Moon uh, uh, load tester, so yeah, I'm just using a standard rig. Of course, more than standard actually. I'm using an RTX 2080 and RTX 2070, and running folding at home, which draws about 450 watts from the wall, and it's good. It runs well. It it does not it just does not scream because of that 140mm fan that is very silent. Now with the, this power supply, it comes with new set of cables, which I really like, as they are really flexible. This range of cables are not just long enough, but they are bendy enough. It's called the Ultra Flex DC cables. They are from Fractal Design, and I really like it because it's so bendable that it makes it such an ease when it comes to cable management. Now as for the price, over here in Malaysia, this model, 660 watts, retail at RM549. But if you can afford higher, then there's the 860 watts model that is just RM100 extra. As for the performance, as mentioned, my test is limited. So you, I will have links down below to other reviewers like Tech Power Up, of which they did a, very, a teardown and Actual, actual efficiency and load test and everything else. So that's it for this video. Overall, go back from me for the Fractal Design Ion Plus 660p power supply. For what it is, compact, silent with the 140mm fan, although like what I mentioned, the zero RPM switch is quite pointless because it is already so silent. And then the lovely cables that come with a package, speaking of which, they have really nice packaging on this one. And yes, that really awesome cables that are flexible for cable management. So, all right, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one, hopefully with a better voice. That's all for this video now. Bye-bye.